Hi, Frank. Where are you right now? None of your business. Come on, Fletch. Aren't you bored? I need you for a story. I got that police report you wanted. I just emailed it to you. It's encrypted. Uh, what's the password? Go ask yourself. My father's paintings were stolen. The Picasso was appraised at $20 million. Well, it hardly seems worth stealing. You're not a detective. But I was an investigative reporter. It's an occupation that's been cheapened by the digital age, like president. Earl Maurice Fletcher. They caught me in the middle of a yawn. Can you imagine that? Who killed this young woman? I think the victim interrupted an art theft. Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon, and someone matching your description was seen with the victim. Come back with me to police headquarters. I get it. You want my help? OK. Hey, guys, is there a way we can call in a coffee or a kill for a macchiato? Not literally. I looked into your criminal record. And? You're a bit of a shady character, Mr. Fletcher. <sighs> but I am adorable. If you did kill that girl, do the right thing and give me an exclusive. Let's talk about the suspects. Countess de Grazia married Papa for his money. Somehow she's involved. Oh. Flesh. She's trying to seduce me. Quite the collection of uh, impressionists you have here. Those are reproductions. That's how we introduce my children. Why did you lie to me? You're becoming paranoid. Maybe you should get that cut. Did you murder that girl? Oh, okay. no, I didn't. Did you? What is this? Wooden bird and burn <laughs> Almost. This stupid idiot moron has something to do with this. You want me on the outside so I can solve this thing. Are you Fletcher? Yes, I am. Oh! I mean, no, I'm not. I always get that wrong. I don't know who people hate more. Cops or reporters? It's cops.